it's Bridget, also known as Acquired Style, and I'm here today to tell you guys about my new launch with Lexi Hair. If you remember, we first launched the Acquired Style X Lexi Hair hair roller kit. And if you don't already know about this, there is a whole other YouTube video about everything that has to do with these rollers, but they're the best hair rollers on the market in my opinion. And we're actually going to use them today as well because we're going to do a salon blowout at home featuring my new product, which I'm so excited about. It is the Acquired Style X Luxy Hair Blowout Brush Kit. I couldn't be more excited about this. We've been working on it for quite some time now. So it comes with this beautiful pouch, which also doubles as just like a cosmetic case or makeup bag or whatever you want to put in it. And inside it comes two round brushes. We have a small size and a medium size. And I actually got the inspiration for the handles, which is on all of the brushes actually. We have the paddle brush as well. There's some hair in these, sorry I've been using them. But I got the design inspiration for these from a candle that I saw in a store when I was walking around in the city. I will insert a photo here. And the Luxie Hair team really helped me develop and bring these to life. And these brushes are really just the next step to achieving the perfect salon blow at home. First we had the rollers and now we have the brushes. It also comes with a comb. This is perfect for parting your hair when you're doing the blowout. We'll get into all of that, but I love this. It also has the little ridging detail on the side as well. So I'm so excited. We're gonna do a full tutorial, exactly step-by-step step, how I achieve the blowout with the brushes, with the rollers, the whole thing, and I'm so excited. If you don't already know everything about the hair roller set, I'll give you a brief introduction. So this includes 24 Velcro rollers, four sizes. We have the large, the medium, the small, and the extra small. Also come with 24 gorgeous clips to properly secure the roller onto your head. And I always say this, but these were so important to me. I really wanted to make sure that we had a good clip that was really gonna secure the roller and also not crease or anything so this may seem simple but this one's like a really big important thing for me we also have the vegan leather bag again just like you know good for storing the rollers but also if you want to store some other stuff in there i don't make the rules these have also sold out actually four times since yesterday and we're restocking them but yeah these have sold out many times they are just an iconic product that i truly wouldn't be able to live without okay now let's get into the blowout so i'm going to take the comb and I'm going to start by parting my hair. Now, I don't do any crazy parting when I do the blowout because I just like to start with the front pieces and kind of work my way back. If I have a ton of time, I will really go into like parting each section. But basically the main thing I do is I wanna make sure that I have a perfect middle part. This comb obviously makes parting very seamless, very easy. Okay, perfect part acquired. Next, I just brush through my hair. This is literally the best brush ever, I'm obsessed. Also not to mention, like, it's so comfortable. Like, this is so nice and soft, I love it so much. So I always start with the two front pieces, so I just do a little part here, comb that away. Another little part here, comb that away. And then I take my clips, push these back. Okay, so we take the parting comb, Put it into two sections. So we have the front pieces and the back. Clip this away, start with the front piece. I will say I spend the most time parting on the front pieces and then it kind of gets a little bit easier as I work my way back. So I'm taking the small brush. Honestly, I prefer to use the small brush on my whole head, but if you have thicker or less fine hair, I would suggest using this one or if you just want a more loose blowout, use the bigger one. If you want a more tight, bouncy blowout, use the smaller one. Okay, this is where things get serious. I have talked about this on TikTok multiple times, but this is where you get the best blowout. You are constantly going in a circular motion with the brush as you put the heat on it. So you make sure the hair is fully wrapped around the brush and you go in a circular motion like this. And that way you're really creating the curl and the flip while putting the heat on like this.
the extra small roller, roll this one going in, take the back piece out, do the same. I'm gonna go like this in the circular motion. This one going back like that. Secure them in with our clips. Now I move on to the two side pieces that I just had clipped away. So I'm just gonna separate these into two and kind of do one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom. Now watch how I utilize the circular motion in making a perfect flip at the bottom of this piece of hair. left with the perfect flip. You also want to make sure that each piece of hair is fully dry. Like don't focus only on the ends being flipped. You want to make sure that the whole entire piece is dry because if not when you take the roller out it's going to be creased and it's going to come out frizzy. So you just want to make sure that the whole piece is dry and it has that flipped end on the bottom before you put in the roller. I'm going to show you guys one more piece and then I'm going to come back when the full head is done. dry put in the roller secure it with the clip so I'm basically gonna repeat that throughout my whole head I try to utilize all the sizes of the rollers based off how big the piece of hair is I usually don't use this one just because my hair is not you know super thick but in the back sometimes I will use this one or if I want more volume on the top, instead of like super bouncy, I'll use this one on the top. So I will be back when my full head is in rollers. Okay, I am back. I have all the rollers in my head. The good thing about rollers is like, they don't have to look perfect to come out perfect. So, you know, sometimes my rollers look amazing and sometimes they look a little messy. I think today they look pretty good. They don't have to be perfect. You're still gonna have a great outcome because, you know, the whole point of the brush set is that your hair already has a nice curl in it. And the point of the rollers is to set the curl and make the curl last longer and make it look like a little bit more luscious when it comes out, give you some more volume, and overall just give you the perfect looking blowout. So if you're getting frustrated with putting them in and feel like they don't look perfect, I'm sure that they will still come out looking amazing. Now, I always leave them sitting for at least 15 minutes. You can go longer. I wouldn't suggest going any shorter than like 10 minutes just because I think the longer you let them sit, the better they come out. One time I let them sit for like four hours and they looked amazing. But 15 minutes should do the job. I also just wanted to mention that it's a perfect gift for the holidays or even a gift for a friend if the holidays are over and also just to have in general. I mean, it's a beautiful brush set. So let's take them out. My favorite part is definitely taking them out at the end. Like nothing compares to the end result. I always use a heat protectant. Definitely don't forget to use a heat protectant because anytime you're putting heat on your hair, it's important to use a heat protectant. I always like to twist them when I take them out gives them a little extra curl. I'm so excited I was finally able to tell you guys about the brush set. Like I said, we've been working on it for so long and I'm just so happy that it's finally here. And I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If there's any other questions that you have regarding how to achieve the perfect blowout, please leave them in the comments. And I'm happy to do a part two either on here or definitely on TikTok. But in addition to that, I will also be uploading a shorter version of the tutorial on TikTok as well. And that will probably be up by the time this is up. So definitely look for that. Maybe there will be a link in the bio. But okay, this is the final result of the blowout using the brush kit and the roller set. And 
I think it looks pretty amazing in my opinion. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on the blowout brush kit. I hope you guys love it just as much as I do and I cannot wait to see everyone's results. And the link will be in the bio to shop the roller set and the brush kit if you have not already purchased. Love you guys.